Every time he moves, I notice a new muscle in his body. <laughs> There's so many. He just keeps evolving. He has like three biceps. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome. You're watching Fancy Fitness. Let's start this video with the mutant Nick Walker. So this is six weeks post Olympia. I showed that unfortunately he missed out due to that hamstring tear. But damn, he still looks to be in the prep mode. Nick has to be one of the most dedicated bodybuilders on the planet right now. Even during the darkest hour, he did not lose hope. And you guys can see that the fire inside him is still burning so bright. And he still wants to prove to the bodybuilding world that he could have been a real threat to Mr. Olympia title this year. Well, that is obviously in the past now that is part of history. But now he has got plans for 2024. So for anyone wondering, has he fully recovered from that hamstring here? The answer to that question is no. And that could very well be the reason he did not consider doing the Arnold Classic Ohio next year. And another thing is he already has that title. And eventually the goal now is to win the Olympia title. So with Derek as the winning champion and an equally motivated guy, we do not exactly know whether that is a possibility for Nick Walker now, whether he can accomplish that, irrespective of the fact that he keeps on getting better. But Nick Walker will 100% continue to believe in himself that he will be Olympia champion one day. You have more muscle in one arm than my entire body. <laughs> have you guys seen the latest video of Derek Linsford on his YouTube channel, where he got the famous YouTuber Mr. Beast to react to his physique? Well, kudos to whoever planned this collab. Because Derek is doing such a great job by collaborating with a guy who has such a huge audience, who probably has one of the biggest audience on YouTube. And this was recorded prior to the Olympia 2023, where Mr. Beast promised that if Derek actually wins the title, they will work out together in his gym. So hopefully that will happen soon, because that will be another opportunity to bring professional bodybuilding into kind of mainstream media. Don't quit staring at his butt. Oh yeah. <laughs> he it. No, it was just like, staring hard, bro. <laughs> And you have got to give credit to Derek Lensford. And the reason I am so excited about this is because bodybuilding is relatively a smaller niche and it definitely needs more audience. And with collabs like this, that is certainly a very big possibility. Derek is utilizing the power of social media and he's connecting with so many people around the globe. Crazy. It's, it's impressive. Really as well. Front lap spread. I am a big fan of Hadi Chopin. I am a big fan of Big Rami. I'm sure most of you guys know that. But something like this, I don't think would have ever happened with a guy like Hadi Chopin as the champion. And I think this will open up more opportunities for other bodybuilders as well. To do more collabs with personalities like this and bring more audience to bodybuilding. 212 Mr. Olympia, open Mr. Olympia. And if I do that, can I get your word we'll get a workout? Of course. If you win, we'll right. work out together. There you go. All you right. just have to come train to my gym. All right. All right. Let's cool. Let's do it. Lastly, I have an update from Subishiso Kotala for you guys. A guy who certainly hasn't lived up to his potential just yet. But the physique is definitely there. Aside from the fact that he needs more refinement in his back and some other areas as well. He hasn't been 100% conditioned just yet. He wasn't at his best in any of the shows that he did back in 2022. So he had a very long offseason this year, working on some weak areas. And 2024 is the year he will be looking for his first professional win and hopefully the Olympia qualification for next year. He has been a pro for almost 5 years now. And now is the time to really bring it to the bodybuilding stage. If I'm not mistaken, him and Samson competed against each other back at 2019 Vancouver Pro, where Samson placed 8th and Sebishusu was 11th. That just goes to show us how far Samson Dauda has come. So hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video. And smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.